Where do I start with this? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with an audio clip from the third video in the sequence, just so you can hear the general tone and frame with which uh, Peter was sort of operating within. We've said this before. It's the whole negotiate uh, with your spouse, partner, wife, uh, whatever. And um, it really just boils down to trying to build a better beta. But a lot of what he's talking about relies on both parties taking accountability, which I'll get into some of this stuff with all my notes over here. But I kind of want to start this with just this audio intro because he says something that's pretty powerful. Um, he starts the third sequence of the videos with um, what you're sacrificing to get married. So let me just play this. I can't play the whole thing or react to the whole thing clip by clip because that would um, infringe on uh, their, their IP and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to play this quick little clip. It's like 20 seconds. And there's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine very powerful word, words that he says in this intro that I want you to hear in his voice before I get into my reaction to all the material. So let's get started with that. Oh, hopefully you can hear this. And then you think, well, what are you sacrificing to get married? Well, let's think about it. What are you sacrificing? Foolish, juvenile, short-sighted, hedonistic, nihilist, cynical, psychopathic, impulsive promiscuity. That's what you're sacrificing. It's like, hey, you might want to sacrifice that because that sounds like a pretty decent collection of demons. And you probably don't want that cluttering up your life. It's what it's going to be. All right. So there's your little intro. So those words again were when you're sacrificing marriage, avoiding it you know, specifically, you're foolish, juvenile, short-sighted, hedonistic, nihilistic, cynical, psychopathic, impulsive, and promiscuous. Um, and he says those are demons, so why not get married instead? Because that would be far better off for it. And I got a few things to say about that. Um, guys, if you're just joining the podcast, do me a solid. And um, yeah, I'm going to put the link to YouTube on the general chat. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Twitches, Twatches, whatever. Uh, do, do me a solid. Click that link. Head over to um, YouTube and hit the like button um, and subscribe to the channel. So, all right. Man, I got so many notes in this. There's a lot of disparaging words that he's using to describe men that don't get married. I don't get the impression he's talking to women specifically with this, although he does appear to be speaking to both parties when it comes to the sense of negotiating and working with one another. So here we go. Um, one of the big problems that I find with almost everything in this three-part series, and there was some good stuff, so I'm going to say that, is that it relies on both parties taking responsibility and wanting to do the work. And there's some flaws with that, which I'll get into in a little bit, but I don't think it's entirely realistic in the world that we live in today. Um, it says marriage grows you up. You become an adult when you get married in the series. Uh, he says you're not mature until somebody else matters more than you, meaning your kids. And by the way, guys, you don't need to get married to have kids. There's plenty of people that have children that don't invite the state into their life or live in a way where the state would look at their relationship as a marriage or move to places where the state can't control their life in the way that it does in the West. Canada, you know, certain states in the U.S., for example, the U.K. and stuff like that. Um, so some of the major flaws which I bullet pointed here is he assumes women will take accountability the way that men do. He says, if she cheats in the relationship, recovery is based on your ability to negotiate, which, I mean, look, when... When men go outside of the relationship, they cheat. When women go outside of the relationship, they betray. It's two different things. And I've covered that before in other videos. Um, I'm sure you guys are familiar with that. He, <laughs> One of the things that he admits, and I'm going to quote and end quote this, he stated a difficult custody, again, you know, this is in quotes, a difficult custody battle, battle is equivalent to a near fatal bout with cancer, end quote. Now, 
he's advocating for marriage. He's saying, let's build a better beta. You guys can negotiate and figure it out. You're not a man until you have uh, children. He said, if you're not married by the time you're 40, you're a creep. Those are you know his exact words. But then he also admits in another breath that custody battles are the equivalent of near fatal bouts with cancer. And 50% of the time people get married after about seven to 10 years. So you've got a 50% chance of basically having a fatal bout with cancer. I mean, he acknowledges that reality, at least. The problem that I have with the entire series, he offers no real risk mitigation techniques that I talk about in the chapter in my book. Um, again, where's my book? Do I have it over here? Yeah. Um, if you guys haven't got it, the Unplugged Alpha is on Amazon in print, Kindle, and Audible. I narrate it myself. And... One of the longer chapters in my book, chapter 15, is titled Why Smart Men Avoid Marriage. I'm going to get into some of this stuff in response to his um, points here that I made. So we talked about the difficult custom battle, admission. Uh, he assumes both parties will negotiate, are mostly equal, and will take ownership. He does not like the idea of a woman submitting to a man in a relationship. Uh, quote, tyranny or slavery is what he calls it, end quote when women yield to a man it seems so he's of the opinion that men and women are pretty much the same they're equal and that they should negotiate amongst themselves um for the better outcome of the the marriage you know the children blah 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 all that sort of thing so everything he's talking about in this series if you're an alpha male you're an unplugged alpha male it's not going to be of any use to you whatsoever if you're plugged in beta and you want to become a better beta you might get something out of it but you're like he's just going to march you into a slaughterhouse with what he's given you because there's no risk mitigation tools whatsoever and we haven't seen negotiating desire to be a successful way uh to long-term happiness in relationships uh, evidence-based at least okay um you know as they say you simply cannot negotiate desire it's got to be genuine burning desire chapter three of my book i talk about why genuine burning desire matters um he also another fly is he also takes no consideration for the modern landscape um you know the dating landscape family law feminism female promiscuity and the weak state of men today as well because the vast majority of men are are, are are weak like we know something like a third of men today under the age of 30 30 or 33 or something like that I covered this months ago, but most men aren't being intimate. They're like, they're not having sex. So if a girl comes along, you know, she's been run through her 20s. She partied a uh, foam cannon party here and there, visa, Vegas, that sort of stuff. Whole bunch of guys on her notch counts. And all of a sudden she finds the dutiful accountant or, uh, you know, good guy that has a nice corporate gig that pays him well. He's just good enough. And she signs up for that um there's there's no accounting for the weak state of men or their inability to decipher good women from bad women because some reasonably hot woman touches his pee, pee and he likes it and she says let's get married i want to have kids and he says yeah let's do that he's not vetting her at all you know and if he goes and watches something that says just man up and don't be a pussy and get married um it's it's a march into a slaughterhouse so anyway i'll keep going through some of these points here and I'll take some call-ins on today's show. I'll I'll, dr I'll drop the join link. You guys can uh, um, ask questions on the topic, or um, you know, if you got something you want to ask, it'll be open. I'll I'll try to make sure I have enough time, you know, posted for you guys. And a few of you guys mentioned, actually, by the way, when I posted it in the community tab, that um, you'd like to see me and Jordan Peterson have this conversation or or a debate. And uh, a few years ago, I I've I think I've messaged him at least twice um to come on to my uh, plane wind podcast or even my uh, uh before the train wreck before i renamed it the unplugged alpha um I have a talk about you know his expertise and uh he just ignored it so the in the invite's open um he never took me up on it i did have a conversation with um what's his name from daily wire andrew clavin they had a segment they were doing on marriage or divorce it was about a year ago you can find it on andrew clavin's channel maybe search for andrew clavin and Richard Cooper in the YouTube search bar, and you'll probably see it. But we had a, a pleasant, you know, twenty-minute conversation about the concept of long-term relationships and specifically marriage and divorce. Um, we're obviously on different sides of the uh, topic, but 
it was a productive conversation. You know, there was, there was people that got something out of that. Anyway, hey guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that short clip. If you did, consider supporting the creation of content by checking out my supplement line. Pinned in the top comment below of this video in the comments, there's a link to the unpluggedalpha.com forward slash shop. Uh, when you click through, you'll be able to land over here and the entire lineup is broken down by category that it performs best in, estrogen metabolism, fat burning, your foundational essentials for health, immune health, performance, and testosterone support. If you check out with coupon code ALPHA10, you'll get 10% off on your first order. There's also the option to use the subscribe and save model where regular shipments will be sent over to you on a regular basis, and that gives you a little bit of a discount, and your supplement facts are always broken down over here. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And again, check out that link. It's pinned in the top comment below in this video. Peace out.